Hey beauties, good afternoon to you. You know, I came across a clipping of an interview. I don't know if it's a podcast or um, he was interviewing the very great, effervescent, dynamic, oh my God, soul stirring uh, Dr. D Jamal Bryant. You know, and he was speaking about his divorce because um, as it relates to, you know, um, sorry, well, vis-a-vis -vis his, his infidelity, you know, and he said, the podcaster was asking him, the host was asking him, um, do you think, are, have you forgiven your wife for basically publicly, you know, bringing the, the infraction, and I, an infraction is a mild word, um, against the marriage, publicly said, forgive her? If I didn't give her a story to tell, she would not have had a story to tell. It's not my, it wasn't my place to forgive her. I was wrong. And I mean, I'm listening to him and he said, his ex-wife said to him, I didn't divorce you really because of the infidelity, you know. It is because of your arrogance. It's as though you were cavalier, you were nonchalant. It's, and he was saying it himself. He said, he said, to her, already said, sorry, what more do you want? Sort of a situation. As if to say infidelity is something. Oh, you just cheated with somebody. Oh, okay. All right, honey bunny. You just... You just um, told me something a little bad and so on. So we can't just get over it. He said, she said it's a level of arrogance. You know, not even, and, and I'm putting in these now. Because I didn't look at the interview. It was just at a snippet I looked at. It's as though, you know, I mean, he figured that, oh, she should get over it. Because I, I, I committed an act, an egregious act. And I apologize. So I accept it. I just, I stepped on your toe. So I, <laughs> and it sounds more like she's saying the audacity knowing the betrayal behind infidelity and the, the, the trauma behind it for the recipient and so on, sort of a situation. But I was so proud of Jamal Brandt, Dr. Jamal Brandt, our pastor, or Reverend the Doctor, whoever they call, call themselves, Jamal Bryant, because he said something very profound. He said, I'm at 70%. I'm at 70%. And this is some, you know, after, you know, the breakup and whatnot. He said, I'm at 70%. You know, because he was using the scripture that says, he that findeth a good thing findeth favor and honor. He that findeth a wife. And you know, we're talking about a good wife. <laughs> not just anyone. Not a Jezebel or a Delilah. We're talking a, a Proverbs 31 woman. He that findeth a good wife. Let me put that so you can understand. Findeth um, a good thing and finds favor and honor from the Lord. So a lot of people don't understand the beauty behind having a wife. You think it's just, oh, you just marry somebody like that? You think it's just marrying anyone willy-nilly, hairy, hairy fairy? Look at King Ahab and Jezebel. That was a marriage of the, from the devil himself, not a marriage by God. You understand what I'm saying? So we're talking about when you have a he, the man that finds a good wife, a solid wife, a Proverbs 31 wife, finds a good thing. And that is why he's not at, a, at, at his optimal level. He stated and I said, you know, I typed on, on the, um, not on the chat, on the IG uh, comments section to say, my respect has gone triple for you now, Dr. Jamal Bryant. To see a man having to pour out, he exemplified what, what Jesus said we're to do when we're coming, you know, to ask him to be our Lord and Savior, to confess our sins, to be vulnerable, to be truthful, to be honest, without guile, without deceit, without pretense. You know, and he just had to give it to him. He said, I'm at 70%. So he says he's at 70%. 70%. 70%. I don't think people understand the blessing and the bliss, you know, that comes from having a good wife. God says, He that findeth a good wife findeth a good thing and obtains favor which is obtaining honor and blessings from the Lord. God doesn't lie. He said he rathers heaven and earth to pass away than his word to go null and void. You know, and believe me, Jamal Bryant, pastor or Reverend Dr. Jamal Bryant, is a fantastic preacher. I mean, when he preaches, you feel like your soul is being pulled out and being, you know, when you get in a thorough car, um, detailing and washing and everything that's what's happening with her so when this man begins to speak about the realities of life 
when you hear him really preaching the message of Christ. And I, I was so moved by his vulnerability, his sincerity, his humility, his candidness. He just kept it real. If many men could do what he did, a lot of relationships would be saved today. So you heard what he said, his wife didn't leave him because of the infidelity. Not to say that you should go out and cheat, it's not a license. It's not a pass to go out and cheat. It was his level of nonchalance and being cavalier and arrogant, subliminally with it. Arrogant covertly, even overtly. She said, but this is crazy. It means therefore if he did, did this, maybe she said he would do it again without any feeling and do worse. And lady said, oh no, this is not what I signed up for. So I hope people learn from this. It goes for women too. Value the people that you have in your lives. Treat them with respect and treat them with honor. Treat them with dignity. If you mess up, ask God to just give you a broken and a contrite heart. No one is saying that you need to, to behave like grovel and beg and behave as if, you know, if you don't have that person in your life, you're going to die. But you should, you should hold yourself accountable be answerable and sort of you know be pious don't just oh I cheated on you get over it I apologize are you crazy it doesn't work like that if you steal and you're caught by the the, the laws of the land you're going to pay some time but they pay a fine as well as to pay some time but you're going to do a little time so you don't just willy-nilly operate as though oh you just stepped on a person's toe I loved his candidness. I loved his vulnerability. I loved his honesty and sincerity. And I'm glad the uh, podcaster asked him, have you forgiven your wife for bringing this thing to the fore? I said, excuse me, forgive her? I'm look it's almost like he's saying, I'm, I would be a blessed man if she forgave me. I would be basically a blessed man if she forgave me. Because if I did not do what I did, she would not have had a story to tell. And then she said it was for his arrogance. It wasn't the infidelity. So she was willing. But it's like he didn't care. He admitted to that. How many of you men admit to who you are? You behave like you're the shiznit. Like, you know, oh, she cannot do without you. Try the woman too much. Try the woman too much. One of the things that men do not understand with women, we don't leave quickly. There is a sense, there is a... I don't know if it's, sometimes this is how we were um, subliminally trained to think that men are better or more superior than us. So we grovel at their feet, so to speak. I think it's a little bit more than that. I think because we're emotionally stronger, we're able to take the verbal blows, maybe the mental blows a little bit easy, longer. Let me put it that way, the psychological blows, while men are able to take physical blows, you know. Hence you guys enter boxing and these contact sport far more than women but once they have got enough blows no pun intended they're going to leave and only the spirit of god can cause that woman to go back to that man only god r kelly sung that song some years ago when a woman's fed up you see when she reaches that stage not just the dog eating your supper, all eating your supper, your dinner, your breakfast, your lunch, your, your break. <laughs> Big up to Jamal Bryant, Pastor Jamal Bryant, for that candid interview, for that real interview, for that vulnerable interview, for that sincere, honest interview really and truly appreciated it really and truly appreciated that interview it was it was marvelous it was i mean i didn't watch the entire thing i maybe just watched uh, just about two minutes in and i said wow just to hear that level of vulnerability and candid and uh, just sincerity and honesty and openness and stating where he's at just being real that's what we're lacking today being real and we hope that many people will start to take on this real nature and stop being fake. Just be real and admit your flaws. Guys, follow me on TikTok, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share this, and you really